Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another Phantom 3 tutorial video. Uh, now this will work with Phantom 3 Professional, which I have with a 4K camera. It will also work with Phantom 3 Advanced with the 1080p camera. But what I'm going to do is show you the default settings. So if I use my gimbal control knob in the top left of the controller, and I pan down, and obviously this is indoors and that's carpet, but you can see how fast that, uh, that gimbal control is. Now that may be suitable for a lot of people, but there's some people like myself that like to film uh, entertaining YouTube videos, and that's just too fast. So there's an easy way to adjust it. Looking in your app here towards the top where it has a little controller icon, just tap on that. And then your, your very top option here, it's gimbal wheel speed. So gimbal wheel speed for mine was set to 100. Let's back it off to 50 and see what that looks like. Again, this is a matter of personal preference, how slow you want it to be, but let's go from 100 to 50. So this will be half the speed that it was. So now I'm using the gimbal control knob, and you can see it's panning a lot slower. Um, is that slow enough for film? Well, that's something that, you know, it's a matter of personal preference. That's definitely half the speed that it was, but just for, uh, for demonstration purposes, let's go back and let's take it down even more. Let's take it down to about 25. Well, let's take it down to 30. It goes in increments of 10. So now we're at 30. So let's see how, how slow this is. Now see, for me, and excuse me, and again, it's personal preference. For me, that's almost too slow. So let's take it back up to the top, and let's play with it some more and go to, we did 50. We started out at 100, and then we went down to half of that to 50. Now let's kind of meet in the middle and let's see what uh, see what we get on 40. So now we're on 40 setting. And I like this. I think 40 is going to be my perfect speed because it's not too slow, in my opinion, but it's definitely not too fast. And if you've ever used a camera, whether it's on a drone or in your hand or on a, you know, whatever, whatever type mount, if you move a camera around, you're going to get better video if you're going slowly. So, for that reason, see, I think this is optimal. And then if I just wanted to go a fraction of the way up or down, it's still, it's still fast enough, in my opinion, but it's obviously slow enough to keep those, uh, to keep those videos very slow and smooth from a video perspective. So, that's how to adjust the speed of the... Uh, and let me get my terminology straight. They call it the gimbal wheel speed. So that little knob on the top left of your Phantom 3 controller, this adjusts the speed of it. So just another enhancement that uh, if you're a new Phantom owner, like I am, I've got the Phantom 3 Professional. If you haven't gotten a Phantom 3 yet, check the link within this video's description. I've got the Phantom 3 Pro, the Phantom 3 Advanced, the case, the quick disconnect prop guards, and a lot more there. And if you don't see what you're looking for, uh, just drop me a message and I'll be sure to uh, to do my best to find it and reply with a link with a link to those products for you. So I hope this video is of value. Share with others. Subscribe YouTube.com forward slash Irix Guy. Y'all have a good day.